So this is the video solution for test 2, semester 1, 2017-2018, question 1. So we can see the question here, this is figure 1 is given here. Refer to figure 1 and answer the following questions. Write PIC 18 instruction sequence that will correctly configure port D to interface with the DIP switches and the 4 LEDs. So we can see from the diagram that we have these four pins which are connected to the DIP switches which means they are input and we have another four more pins so this is our input and this will be our output so that means the lower nibble will become the input the upper nibble will become the output so how do we actually configure port D to interface with the DIP switches and the four LEDs is that by configuring the TRIS, regi TRIS register which is the data direction register so because this is port D so because we want uh, to configure this as input so the values for each one of these bits should be set to 1 and this one should be set to 0 as we have learned in class so we are going to move value move literal value hex 0 F and you're going to move it to 3 D so when we do this we are configuring the lower nibble to become as input and the upper nibble to become as to become as output if you expand this this will become 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 so in other words the lower nibble you're configuring as input and the upper nibble you're configuring as output so that's how we do it the second one is uh, write a PIC instruction sequence to output the binary version of the rightmost digit of your student ID to the LEDs connected to RD4 to RD7 now before uh, we go into writing the instruction sequence we need to look at the schematics so let us look at the input schematic now let us look at one line so this is actually pulled high which means when the switch is not um, pressed or it's not um, on the logic at this particular pin will be 1 and when it is turned on it will be grounded and therefore the logic will be 0 for the LED, in order for us to turn on the LED, as you can see the anode is connected to the 5 volt and the cathode is connected to the pin. So in this case, we need to provide logic 0 in order for us to turn um, the LED. So uh, let us just recap. The LEDs, because of the configuration is like this, is such, we need to provide logic 0 to turn it on. And here in the input part, when the switch is pressed, it will give logic 0. So with that in mind, so we're going to write the instruction sequence to output the binary version of the rightmost digit. So let's say, assuming, for an example, if your student ID is EE074789, so which means this 9 will be your last digit right rightmost digit of the student ID so uh, if we want to represent it in the binary binary version so take note that uh, this is uh, for this is the fourth bit um, fourth pin fifth sixth and seven so let us just write here fourth fifth sixth and seven to output the binary version of the rightmost digit so we're going to take this digit what is this digit nine in binary it is actually is going to be one zero zero one right so which means we want uh, the seven if we want to represent this binary in terms of the led here actually we are referring to the LED to turn on so we want the seventh LED to on 
and also the fourth LED to be turned on. So, but now because of the circuit configuration, configuration is such, in order for us to on the seventh bit and also the fourth bit, we need to provide logic zero. And this one to be off, off, and this one should be on. So the value that we should supply to this particular pin is actually zero one one zero. Zero means we are turning it on. <coughs> And this is turning it off. So what is this value? <coughs> this value, now this is the upper nibble. The lower nibble is actually don't care. You can write whatever we want. So the upper nibble in hex is, will be hex 6. This is 6, 6, 0. So when we load this value 6, 0 into port D, this value, which is 0, 1, 1, 0, will make sure that the 7th LED and the 4th LED will be turned on. So which means it will represent 1001. So how do we write this instruction? So we are going to write move LW hex 60 and then we are going to move it to port D. So in this way, the LED will indicate that this is digit 9. So this is a bit slightly tricky question. Just have to, it's tricky because of the, of the schematic. It's in, we have to provide logic 0 to turn it on. So if you want to display 9, this LED should be on, should be off, should be off, and should be on. So that's why we have to give logic 0 here, 1, 1, and 0 here. So that this will be on, and this will be on, this will be off, and this will be off. Let's see part C. Write a PIC instruction that will read the value specified for the by the 4-bit DIP switches into working register. Now this is uh, quite straightforward. If you look at the diagram, whatever condition of the switch is being set, it will be written into the port D, the lower nibble. So if we want to copy it into working register, the instruction is very straightforward. We just can move the content of port D to working register. This is how we can actually do that. Now D, write, write a PIC instruction sequence to read the value at the DIP switches and output the same to the LEDs. Notice that the input value is connected to the lower nibble of port D while the output LED are connected to the upper nibble. There's a hint given. Swap the nibbles of working register before outputting. So in this case, um, what the question is trying to tell, if uh, if the first this DIP switch is pressed is on, this LED should on. If the second one is on, this one should on. If the, this one is on, this one this LED should turn on. And if this is on, this one should turn on. So in this way. Um, the lower bit or the least significant bit of uh, of the lower nibble will will actually correspond with the uh, least significant bit of the upper nibble likewise the second one will correspond with the second the third will correspond with the third and the fourth will correspond with the fourth so in this case, uh, when the switch is pressed, it will give logic 0 and the LED in order for it to on is also the logic required is logic 0. So what we need to do now is we need to read this value and we need to swap it over to the upper nibble. So we need to swap the nibble. So whatever the condition of uh, the switches here need to be swapped 
to the upper nibble. So we can use swap instructions for that. So what we can do is we can first of all we can move the content of port D to working register. We can perform swap F of working register which means the upper nibble and the lower nibble will uh, exchange and this one you can write as W or F this part you can write W or F is still the same and then you move back the content of working register or the swapped value of working register back into port D so this is how we do it 